Hey everybody, just popping in with Friday Studio Notes, which I haven't done for a while. Let me show you quickly what I'm working on. Today I'm working on these two big boards, uh, one metre square each. I started off with the orange ground and now I've been going over in layers of the palette that I'm currently working with. I am not thrilled with the composition, but I'm okay because I'm building up layers and just getting in some textures and different, you know, interesting things happening at various points um, with different thicknesses of paint and drawing in, scratching in and layering. And then I'm starting to think about editing now and adding in some calmer areas. Same on this one. Originally, I had thought of these as a diptych but I've decided to work on them as two separate pieces which can also be hung together um, but not which are uh, continuation onto the same board. I just think that's the way I want to go with them. I also have this one at very early stages um, just putting on again it started off with an orange ground but this one has gone on much more stark contrast even than the ones on the wall. Um, but I, on this one I'm just playing with misting in and uh, misting paint into you know layers into one another and seeing what I can do with that and then contrasted with some edges in different places. Uh, nowhere near enough layers on this one yet. This one's a canvas so that's a bit strange for me to work on but I needed to get, I had to get a canvas to get that shape. Interesting, I got reminded this week of something that I teach everybody else. So my whole approach to making art and what I teach other artists is that you follow what makes you feel good when you're working. You follow the gestures, the marks, the colors, the printmaking techniques, whatever it is that feels good to you. If you like to scribble in, you do more scribbling in. If you like delicate, fine representational painting, you do that that you follow what feels good to you because that's what you're supposed to be doing. And yeah, I needed a coaching session with another artist to remind me of that for myself. So I um, booked into a session with an artist called Kevin Giglione who offers uh, critiques and coaching to other artists. I know him because he coached on CVP, an online course that I took two years ago. And he was very good on that, and I thought it would be interesting to hear from him about the work I'm doing. I was feeling a little bit not sure which direction to go in next, and just wanted, you know, some outside input. What was so interesting was that his feedback to me was, uh, the ones, the paintings that he responded to most positively were the ones that came the most naturally to me, the ones that felt maybe a little bit too raw to me, um, just felt a bit too, oh, is that enough to be finished? You know, that's that came out of me very spontaneously. Doesn't feel like I worked hard enough to get to that. But those were the ones that he responded most positively to. Those were the ones that I liked the best. Um, but to have somebody else reinforce that feeling was just a big reminder that what we do most naturally, what we love to do, what excites us to look at it, that's what we need to be doing more of. And yet, so often we push ourselves into a different direction because we think, ah, but that was, you know, just like I said, that was easy for me. That can't be the right thing for me to be doing. I see these other artists and they're doing something that looks much more complex or challenging. But remember, it, what they're doing perhaps is easy to them. If it, perhaps it flows for them in that way and it flows for you in a different way. So, uh just a really good reminder to me that it's, you know, the things I tell other people really are true. When you are in flow, when you work, other people can see that and feel it in the work. And they want to be, they want to own a piece of that because it's full of life. It's full of personality. It's full of something unique and the hand of you, the artist, is in that work. The soul of you, the artist, is in that work. And that's what people want to own. So when you put all of yourself into something, not everybody's going to love it. It's going to be too much, too little, too big, too small, too 
empty, too busy for lots of people. But it's going to be just right for a certain set of people who respond to that thing inside you that's coming out. They have something similar inside them. It connects with them and they want to own a piece of it. So that's all I wanted to say really this week was it's just interesting that um, the teacher always has to be taught and uh, I think that's true of anybody and I got a really good lesson this week which has made me go back into the paintings I'm working on in a whole new way and given me some ideas for ways to move forward as well so I'm really excited about the coming weeks what's going to happen in my studio in the coming weeks and I will be sure to share it with you. Hope everybody has a great weekend, does lots of painting and remember do what feels really good to you. Bye!